Hello, I'm Brian with Mead Instruments, and we're going to show you how to update the firmware on your Mead telescope. This is one of the most common questions we get. Fortunately, you should rarely have to update the firmware on your telescope, but this information can be useful if or when you do need to make that update. This can be done from home on a Windows PC with a couple of connecting cables, which I'll go over in a moment, and a connection to the internet. So let's get started. To find out what firmware version you have, power up the telescope and watch the boot up screen. The firmware version is shown for the first few seconds during startup. Or you can simply go to the setup menu, then statistics, and scroll down to see the version number displayed. Getting started with the things you'll need are a Windows PC with Windows XP or newer connected to the internet. The PC should have a USB 2 port. You should download and install Mead's AutoStar Updater program version 6.1 or newer. This is a free download available from Mead.com. Then you'll need an adapter to go from your PC to the telescope connecting cable. Most Mead telescopes use an RS-232 connection, so for those telescopes, you'll need a USB to RS-232 adapter. This is where I'd really recommend getting the authentic Mead adapter, which is part number 07507, as you'll find a lot of these types of adapters in the marketplace, but to ensure the best connection to your telescope, you should get the authentic Mead part. From there, the telescope connecting cable starts to become model specific. In this example, I'm using an LX85 mount, and the LX85 uses the AudioStar handbox. This includes a lot of different Mead models, and please refer to the list here. It includes all ETX telescopes, LX90s, uh, this LX85, the LX65, so it does cover a lot of Mead telescopes. For that connecting cable, you're going to want the Mead number 505 cable. This is part number 07505. And this connects from the RS-232 to USB adapter that I just previously mentioned. And in this case, the other end of the cable plugs into the bottom of the handbox of the AudioStar. If you are using a Mead telescope equipped with the AutoStar 2 hand controller, such as LX200, LX600, or LX850, you'll need the number 507 interface cable. The 507 cable will plug directly to the telescope's control panel, labeled RS-232. Connect the USB to RS-232 adapter to your PC's USB port. It should self-install the Windows drivers the first time you connect it, but if for some reason it doesn't, the drivers can be obtained from Mead's website. Now connect the other end of the RS-232 adapter to the interface cable. For all AudioStar equipped telescopes, such as the LX85 I'm using here, We'll connect the 505 interface cable to the 4-pin connector on the bottom of the AudioStar handbox. If you are using a Mead telescope equipped with the AutoStar 2 hand controller, such as LX200, LX600, or LX850, you'll need the number 507 interface cable. The 507 cable will plug directly to the telescope's control panel, labeled RS-232. Our light switch telescopes use a pre-programmed mini SD card to load the firmware directly into the mount. These are available for purchase directly from Mead, or you can create your own. If creating your own card, the mini SD card must be less than 2 GB capacity and have the LS firmware files loaded into a specific order. Instructions for this can be found on our Mead website. The LS and RCX and LX400 telescopes require only a standard USB A to B 2.0 cable that plugs directly from the PC to the USB port on the telescope. Now that we have all our connecting cables, we need to download and install the latest AutoStar Updater program available on Mead's website. Currently this is version 6.1 and there's a link to this download below in the description. Now with everything connected, let's power on the telescope and let it finish booting up. Open the AutoStar Updater program. It will attempt to auto-connect to the telescope. If the telescope connection is successful, the model and handbox version number should be read in the lower right-hand corner. If the versions are displayed as unknown, double-check your cable connection and that you have the telescope powered on. 
You can optionally select the COM port manually by going to the Options menu, then selecting Set COM port. Then simply enter the correct COM port for your telescope connection. Then go back to the Options menu and select Startup Connect, then choose Connect Only. Remember that you should be connected to the internet in order to get the latest telescope firmware. With the telescope connected, all you need to do now is click Upgrade AutoStar Software Now. On the pop-up window, then select the internet option, then click Check WWW for latest version, and the AutoStar updater will automatically download the latest firmware for your telescope model. Updating the telescope firmware can take anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour, depending on your telescope model computer and firmware being installed. It's a good idea to stay with the computer during the install as the program will prompt you several times and ask you if you want to install certain firmware components. It's good practice to select yes for each of them or some features may not be installed. It's very important not to disconnect or disrupt the connection while the update occurs. A power failure or other disconnection can crash your telescope causing it to become non-operational so be very careful when performing a firmware upgrade. Make sure you have a stable connection to the telescope, computer, and adequate power throughout the entire firmware installation. Once complete, the telescope will restart. It's now safe to power off the telescope and disconnect it from your PC. You have successfully updated your telescope firmware. The same cables that you'll use to connect your telescope to the PC to make firmware updates can also be used to control your telescope via the PC using various different planetarium software programs. And we'll get into more detail on that in another video. But to get started, basically, if you download the ASCOM platform and download the Mead ASCOM drivers uh, for all the Mead telescopes, you will then have the ability to control the telescope from your PC, which is a crucial starting point to being able to control everything for astro imaging, or just to plan your observing sessions and use all the graphical interface tools available to you from all these different wonderful uh, planetarium software programs. So keep in mind that you've already come a long way just to be able to do that to install your firmware. You are now able to control your telescope from your PC with just a couple of different software packages and drivers. As previously mentioned, you should rarely have to update the firmware on your Mead telescope, but the need to update the firmware might coincide with different types of troubleshooting that you're encountering or problems that you may have with using the telescope that goes beyond just connecting to it and updating the firmware. If you have problems that persist, you may want to contact Mead's customer service at 800-626-3233, or you could just email customerservice at mead.com. Thank you very much.